good to go. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, cool, thanks. Thanks for having me. It's really good to be here. Uh, it's not often that you see licensed games like this one get into a marathon, you know? It's just a really weird thing to think about. But, with that being said, uh, I'll just do a 3, 2, 1, go. Sounds good to me. Alright, so, 3, 2, 1, go. Wake up, Miss. Okay. So very first off, we're gonna notice us catching these butterflies as quickly as we can. Like this. Do that. That was really good. A lot of this game is about optimization. Just trying to get the wrap done as fast as you can. You're gonna notice me jumping around a lot because that's the fastest way of movement, really. Now. And this is how I actually managed to make sure to invert my camera before the run began, because most of the time I forget to do that. So here we're just basically racing Mort, as you see. We used to have to kick him away like that, but we don't really need to do that now. Because of this new method we found, as far as like losing carrots is concerned. Let's jump up, grab this carrot, and we jump up close like this. This makes us slightly faster. Then we have to kick these balloons. And then kick that one. Then there's gonna be a bonus balloon here, we kick it. And we kick these balloons as fast as we can. I don't think I hit that one. Yeah. That was, that was too high. Get that one. There we go. And now we don't have to kick this bonus balloon, but we just go ahead and kick that one to move on. As fast as we can. Because as you see, us kicking that, we only get one shot at it, so... Just kick it as soon as it ends it quick. Yeah, it's just basically like one of two tutorial levels of sorts. It just basically teaches you ba your basic maneuvers, your basic moves, your basic actions. There's honestly not much to talk about in this level, other than just what you see on the camp, on the game. What you see me doing, you know, I'm roaring to get rid of animals. We don't use that a whole lot, but we do use it a couple times. Now we're gonna switch to Gloria, we're gonna learn how to swim with her. Basically, we gotta touch these checkpoints. You ought to actually go through them, as you can see here, I just like hit their hitbox and you're good to go. It's kind of weird, but whatever. It allows us to complete this basically as fast as possible. So yeah. It's really weird, but... Then we go ahead and get out here. We try to tumble over here. Then we come over here. Okay. Now we just go ahead and use this pepper to bust the boulder. There we go. Now we go ahead and stay up as much as we can, and then when we get basically up to the wall, we dive and try to swim through as fast as we can. Then once we go through, we're gonna go back up because being at the top of the water is slightly faster than being below the water or being underneath the water. So yeah. All right, now basically we gotta do this dump or diving mini game. I don't think that was the most optimal, but that's fine. I tend to not get the most optimal there, which is fine by me. So yeah. Not as impressive as I can 
All right, now we go ahead and head to the left here, even though Julia tells us to go to the right, because it's slightly faster to go to the left here. All right, now we learn how to use an element, which is not very useful in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> because we don't really use an element a whole lot, other than these first two levels, and whenever he's rolling on a boulder, because he does that. As we'll see in, like, the third level. But here we basically gotta learn how to use his helicopter ability, his glide, to, ca to help save these lemurs, even though they're floating above water, so popping their balloons would technically endanger them even more, but okay, I got the bonus point. And again, those are bonus balloons, but they're not necessary at all. I just accidentally got that one, I guess, because my route was optimal. I don't know. It's kind of weird to think about that. Here I try something new, I just go ahead and hit to the left here, instead of just hitting stri the straight down, because I think it's just ever so slightly faster. I'm not sure though. I would need to like test that out. And here we just basically like aim ourselves to the sides so that way Alex doesn't have a good chance of catching our ball. Because he has a really high jump if you like just kick it right from the get go. So yeah, without a change of direction. Here hopefully I get a quick ball. That was eh, semi optimal. There we go, that was a lot better. And got it. Good. That was that was honestly fairly optimal. Not the best, but I will honestly take that for a marathon run and for not having practiced in a long while. Here we use that. Here we learn how to use head dash and spin with Nelman. Here we gotta take out uh, 15 moles. Here we just head dash them like this. Then in the, in the next phase, we have to take out 20 moles with spinning. And then in the phase after that, we have to take out 25 moles with both spinning and head dashing. As you can see, these moles are creating boxes above their heads. That means you have to head bash them. There are moles in the second phase, the third phase that we have to... And now we're in the second phase. Uh, in the second phase, the third phase, there are moles that have barrels. And then in the third phase, there are both moles with boxes and barrels. Wow, oh, it's fast. Sorry if the noise from them getting launched annoys you. It's just kind of... That's the most amazing noise ever. Right? Especially when you hear it, like, what is it? 60 times in a row? Yeah. So, as someone who's never seen the source material, I, I, I assume this is exactly like the movie. What's that? Uh, well, I've never seen the movie, so I can only assume this game is exactly what it's like. Oh, these first two levels have yeah, nothing to do with this. Nothing else to beat up moles for like 20 minutes? No, like, this first part has nothing to do with the movie's storyline. These first two levels have nothing to do with the movie's storyline. All you're doing in this level is just building up the plane that they launch with to get to... The, that technically has to get them back to New York, but they get to Africa instead. Spoiler. Uh, but the first level has nothing to do with the, with the movie's plot line, and then... This level, for the most part, has nothing to do with it either. Just saying. It's not until the third level that we tank the game to the real meat of it. And even then, like... Just to explain what's going on right now, I'm just butt-stopping these suitcases as Gloria. Uh, these are all Julians, by the way. Which is that gray lemur that we saw earlier in a cutscene. And... Their hitboxes are really weird there, I don't know why. What? And there he is right there, that's Julian. Uh, now we're kicking these suitcases onto this conveyor belt-like thing. There are three phases in this, we have to kick ten suitcases each onto there. By the way, I will mention whenever, uh... The storyline is like applying to the video game. 
Because, like, the video game does a lot of its own stuff, surprisingly. There are quite a few things that are, you know, following the plotline of the movie, but it tends to go all over the place. And in a speedrun route, especially the world record route, uh, we skip most of the storyline events, so... We're not allowed to skip much right now, but when we get to the levels where we start, like, doing it, when we get to where we do a major skip, you're really gonna notice, like, hey, this has a huge effect on it. Holy cow. Round three! Oh, you better watch out for us. That was a mistake. Wow. Okay. We have a run on our leaderboard where someone got very optimal luck here and, like, got all the suitcases. I don't know how they did that, but they probably spliced it. Because there's no way you could get that kind of luck like that. That wasn't bad. Right. So now we're heading up to where the plane is. Okay, Melma, Alex, just find me. This shiny little will help you find Now we basically out. gotta just try and get to these ropes so we can tie them. We're preparing the vines and we're prepare and we're preparing the plane for launch. Even though it's a really old plane, it can still fly. Never judge a book by its cover, I guess. Nice, no ledge grab there. Unfortunately, we have to get a ledge grab here. There is a way that you can avoid the ledge grab there, but it's really hard. I've never gotten it. Alright, got on the balance beam. Good. You can get on the balance beam before the cutscene. There's technically a way to skip that balance beam cutscene, but it doesn't allow you to trigger this minigame, which you need to do. And here we're just tying the ropes together. Nothing much. As someone quoted, this is a minigame fest. But, because of the speedrun route, we can skip most of these, so yeah. I would consider it more to be like a mission fest, you know? Just fall off here, so that way we reset over here. Going to tie it into a big fat incredible knot. The rope didn't respond with excitement, but do it anyway. Who's the cat? Uh huh. That's right. Meow. Alright. Cool. Melman will never have his. Stop. Melon loves to home in on whichever one he wants to. Even if you hold a direction, he'll like, nope, I'm gonna do this one instead. Oops. Didn't mean to go grab him. Told you. All right, now we're just launching more at targets here. I have failed this a couple times, but I, or well, I should say I've missed targets a couple times, but it's all right. I think I missed targets in my world record run, which is 48-24. I will admit, we are probably one of the quickest games who went from like hoping for sub 1 hour to sub 50 in like the span of a few days. Because like we went directly to sub 1 hour with someone's run, and then someone, and then someone had like 9 minutes worth of time save, saved up, and like used it and got a pretty decent run. But didn't quite get sub 50. But I was like, dude, sub 50 is still possible with your time save. So I tried it out and I got close to sub 50. I didn't quite get sub 50. 
But then I tried another run and I got sub 50. Definitely sub 50. I got the current world record run, which is 48.24, like I said. Oh, by the way, here we're just pulling these vines. So now the plane's gonna launch. We're gonna skip the cutscene that like describes, hey, this is what happens in the movie. Because there are two cutscenes like that. There was one in the very beginning where we started the story, and you start when you started the timer, that we skipped. But and then there's another one here technically, but again, we skip it. But basically we launch into we try to get to nor to New York, but unfortunately they end up here instead. What? No yeah, I oh well. We end up here instead, in Africa. They don't know it's Africa, but they don't care. So now we just land here. We throw these durians at these, uh, scorpions. <laughs> Alex calls them pincher guys. That was a really bad toss, holy cow. There we go, that's a little better. Alright, a few more. Get him. And you do want to make sure you don't skip that cutscene until after you hit the scorpions, because otherwise you will actually not hit them. Alright, let's get this skip now. Oh god. Oh, come on, really? That sucks. There we go. Oh, what? No, ledge grab? Okay, whatever. Ah, oh, really close. Okay. That's fine. This is a pretty hard skip right here. Alright, one more try. And otherwise, I'll just go around normally. There we go. Got it. If I roll a record run, I think I got this on the second try, which is alright with me, but it'd be better to get first try. Oh, I got that. Nice. You can still fall down and still make it up there, but it's faster to grab the ledge, as you can probably tell. Slightly faster. We still do have a pretty hard skip coming up, though, in the next level. Optimal rock moments here. Good, that was a pretty good optimal movement. Basically, when you hit a wall, it kind of like redirects your momentum, as you can probably tell. So, if you're able to like constantly move in that section back there in order to get to here as soon as possible. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Now I'm just gonna collect all the coins here because I want to end up the style. basically push these rocks into this vent. And now I can use the other vent to launch myself up the higher level. Launch up here with this vent. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna try to get this one cycle. Got the one cycle there. Cool. Alright, now let's go ahead and try to get this one in. We can get that one in with one push, so yeah. Cool. And now we go ahead and come over here. And try to roll up this wall. Push that right there. Push that in just a little bit more. Don't want to push them in too much, because otherwise we'll knock them like to the other side, which you don't want. Cause that wastes time. But now we're in a very good position to get into that guys are right there, or that thermal as it calls the game calls it. 
and we are done with Welcome to Africa, That's which was the name of the third level there. So yeah, now we're in the Watering Hole, which is basically kind of like the quote-unquote hub area, and here we have the difficult skip that I was talking about. Not quite, okay. I got this first try on my latest run, but there we go, that's it, second try is not bad. So yeah, I will definitely take that. So, basically doing that, we have skipped a ton of the game's levels, and by a ton I mean like two, but that's still a lot. We have also skipped a bunch of mini games and a bunch of storyline, and a bunch of plot, you know? But now we gotta start collecting these monkeys. We need 60 of these monkeys to beat the game. We entered a level, technically, where and we're not supposed to, because we're supposed to find 10 monkeys and then enter the level, but because we entered there without any monkeys, and really early for that matter, uh, we c There's technically a way we can break the game here really badly, but we can't do that, or we're not gonna do that anymore, because that's not optimal for the uh, speedrun anymore. Instead, we go over here, we get this monkey, and then we go up here. Oops. Oh, come on. That's it. I swear to God. There we go. I don't know what the heck was happening there. I should have been getting out a lot more. But, <laughs> oh well. Let's go over here, get this monkey. Don't enter that level, because that's the level. Don't want to do that. Just fall down here. Go over here. Now we're about to enter the Rite of Passage, or the Rites of Passage in this game for Alex. Basically, he's trying to become a part of his quote-unquote tribe again of lions. So he has to go through the Rites of Passage. Which, by the way, we're not going to spend a lot of time here. We're going to collect a few monkeys, and then we're going to complete a couple of missions and then we're gonna be out of here. Here we just have to grab cubs. This is what this is the only mission we tank we complete here. Good. You can get that one basically immediately because there's no monkeys to get. Get this one immediately because there's no monkeys to get. This one you wanna just kind of fall down here. Get that monkey, you'll respawn immediately, so you'll collect the monkey and then you'll end up back up here. Then you can get this monkey. And then we go back and get the other monkey. Or excuse me, get the lion cup, sorry. Alright, and now we basically try to get this one as fast as possible. Okay, there you go. Alright, now we basically exit to map here. Now we have the ability to climb walls. So now we're basically done with Rites of Passage. We, we go back to Welcome to Africa to for a good reason. We won't end up redoing the level, but what instead happens is we end up in like this little small area here, as you can probably tell. We go ahead and use this. This is a totem pole that you can use to swap characters. We're normally not supposed to be able to use this at this point, but we can do it here. Because once you enter Rites of Passage, it unlocks here. So, basically you want to get the ability to climb walls, as you can tell. And unfortunately, we're going to have to wait until the monkey thing is gone, like that. And then we can move ourselves. But, basically, we can climb walls now, so we can get these three monkeys after we busted that boulder with Gloria. And then, we'll be able to enter monkey cliffs and get the rest of the monkeys in this level. We should end up with 25 when we're done. That's a lot of momentum. So yeah, enter monkey cliffs. Climbing walls itself isn't really used much, other than like this first part. But, we still have to get it to get a lot of the monkeys in this game, so... 
which there's a total of 100 monkeys. And like I said, we only get 60 of them. So we basically get 60% of the monkeys. Which isn't quite 60% of the game, for that matter. Because 60% would also include missions for levels and goals. Or excuse me, uh, coins, I should say. position myself here. Normally you can jump from that second to last pole we were on, but unfortunately it didn't quite happen there. Here we can do it though. That is fine. Go down here, get this monkey, then we can go up. That way you don't have to go on the upper platform, then go down, and then back up. Oh, I have the control. Unfortunately you'll only be able to use to get two monkeys with that, but it's, it happens in such unoptimal places like that. I mean, seriously. I wish it would just happen in, like, better places. There's, like, one other place where we've gotten that glitch. And it's so useful for runs, too. Like, what the heck, man? Oh, shoot. Heh. <laughs> Alright, we should be good here. Oh yeah, all the monkeys have names too, if you wanna like, look at them. Alright, now we're gonna switch to Gloria. And don't blink or else you'll miss it. Gonna go ahead and go to the watering hole. And we're gonna exit the story. And then we're gonna enter right back into the story. And now we're gonna be in a different spot. We're gonna be at the ex or excuse me, the entrance to the rites of passage. How is this useful, you might ask? Well, it's a great question. If we go over here, you'll find out. We need to complete this minigame and destroy the croc king, I guess. Or queen, I don't know. But we basically gotta defeat all these crocs to unlock the water caves and Wu and Gloria, which, is, which are both separate levels. Uh, and yeah, basically this helps progress the story. As well as progress, like, our... As well as progress our speedrun, I guess you could say. We need to go through water caves and Wu and Gloria to get a bunch of monkeys. Now we gotta basically just focus our efforts on the Croc King. As long as I stay... As long as I stay pretty much mostly on camera in this area, I should be good to go. Alright, there we go. That's not a bad boss fight at all. Or I guess mini boss, I should say, because like... You can't really call it a boss. Because all he does is just attack you with mangoes, which is what you're doing to him. But anyways, we go ahead and... Oh, that's a mistake of mine. We don't want to enter water caves just yet. We do instead want to come over here. I'm going to grab this monkey right here. And then we're going to grab these three underwater monkeys. That way we increase our total a lot more. Believe me, it doesn't seem like it's that useful, but it's very useful. It allows us to basically oh, it, uh, bleh, enter, uh, fix the plane earlier than usual. And then the last underwater monkey's over here, so just go over here, get this one, and then we're gonna go to water caves. And again, we're only there for collecting monkeys, but we have to complete all the missions in Water Cave in order for us to be able to uh, get to Wu and Gloria. We don't have to complete all the missions in Wu and Gloria, thankfully, though. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, get a little bit of boost from Motomoto there. So, yeah. Uh, so, there's a monkey behind this boulder. We want to kind of bust it with. Gloria. Then 
Then we just come back right back around. There's another monkey right there. We go ahead and use our bubbles on these plants to get pearls. Oh, by the way, if you if you haven't watched the movie, Motomo basically is like the guy that's trying to get Gloria. But Mel apparently is also trying to get Gloria, you know? Yeah, yeah, Melman was the giraffe earlier, just saying. Uh, so like, he's very jealous of Marumoto. I mean, eventually it ends up all good, you know? Because we don't really find out the ending to all this. We just kind of enter here and then get out as soon as we can. So yeah. Well, let's just basically go over here and get this last clam. Center over here. So what's this? Get this monkey right here. We should end up with 39. I think we're good for the most part, but I've missed monkeys before and it has cost me quite a bit of time. It sucks. So yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. We should definitely be good. Yeah, there you go. We're good. Cool. and get all the monkeys now. Now you come over here, get this one. Ugh, okay. Now we bust this boulder because we get the green peppers, which don't last as long as the red peppers. We have to get a chain of them. And you have to kind of adjust yourself because they're not perfectly in line with each other for some reason. So, and then there's another boulder that you have to bust with a red pepper, anyways. What the heck? Eh, <laughs> oh well. We're in moving Gloria now. But again, we're only here for the purpose of getting money, so we're not going to complete every mission here. Pepper, what's this folder? Get that monkey. You found Moto -Moto, yeah. This folder, get this monkey. I'm still adjusting this route of like Moto -Moto, getting all yeah. these boulders here. <laughs> I'm fairly sure there's an optimal route, I just haven't quite found it yet. So, yeah. I'm going to sign myself to the wall like this. And I still ended up down here. Wow. Anyways, now we complete the last mission we do here. Or, I guess it's technically the first and last that we have to do here. Wow, that's quick. Holy cow. It's another diving mission. It's the last one we do, technically. We don't really need to get much of anything. Oh, shoot. You say we gotta do that. And we're good. Gotta give you props. But hey, didn't you promise to make me a necklace with those pearls you made me, Shuck? Oh, and by the way, like, this area is actually the only other area where I've gotten that monkey control glitch. It's really weird. 
I don't know why, but it happens here or there at the at Welcome to Africa. And you only get it once too. It never happens again after you get it once. It's really weird. Nope, never mind. I guess you can get. It. Ha! I had to jinx myself. Get over there. I didn't quite get it, did I? Ah, oh well. I was really close to getting the warning too with it. But yeah, there you go. It happened twice. Holy cow. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, by the way, now we can just exit to map. And we only have to get six more monkeys. Those you here. Yes, it is. So we basically go this way. Okay, whatever. We roar at these monkeys right here, because as you can tell, their color is slightly different. They run away from you unless you roar at them. Like that. And then you can collect them. Of course, you could also chase them. Don't really think that's a good idea, but you can certainly chase them. Believe me, I did that a lot when I was younger. And when I realized, hey, you can roar at them, I was like, wow, I'm pissed. <laughs> That's stupid, but it was fine. I'm still happy I could do it, because it's so much easier than freaking chasing them. It took forever. Whoops. Ha. Okay. So yeah. Oops, that was the wrong way. Okay, this way. Now we can enter fix the plane and do these mini games very quickly. You're here just in top. You can steer this bird using the regular movement control. Then hold down the jump button to get more monkey-powered lift. See that target again? See it? Good. Now try and land there. Please, do it gently! Hello down there! Did you see that landing? Perfect! And my opinion is highly respected by me. Alright, you did a decent job. Only this time we're aiming for a target further away. Test your skills and see what you've really made of. All hands, get out of the way! Not bad. Nice so job, far. you ridiculous monkeys. I would definitely come back to fly these friendly skies. Don't freak out on me. gonna test mid air refueling. Deep breath, grab the bananas, and then land on the target. Oh yeah, by the way, you have to get these bananas, so yeah. Oh, and by the way, this actually does kind of correlate with what the movie does as far as storyline goes. Skipper tries to get a lot of monkeys. Oh wow, that's close, okay. Haha! <laughs> that landing looks smooth, very smooth, or very, very smooth. It's okay, you can just say smooth. Thanks a lot, Next is classic. What I'm at liberty to say is that you'll need both sets of bananas to make it to this target. Eh, you really only need one, but you have to get both of them anyways, because again, they require you to get. I like looking down. Hey, believe me, I have you tested this out. You do need both. You technically only need one. Heck, you technically, if you were doing like tasks, you wouldn't need either. But again, they require you to get both of them. Before you land on the target, Keep which is stupid. Those bananas. Oh well. Full of vitamins and fuel. Mm, they are 
So here you don't need any of those bananas. It's really a very long route. You basically just want to fly straight to the target because you can make it without any of those bananas. So yeah. Ace That's no that mini game done. Have yeah. any better. Clearly, I am a natural at flying prototypes. Alright, so this is just basically another melon ball, not a boulder or ball in this case. A ball of melon junk. Yeah, brush all this stuff. And then, like he said, get to the next area. There are two areas, technically, that we have to crush junk. This one and the next one. Uh, in the next one, there is, like, this junk mound, but there are rhinos on it that protect it. You want to get as few from there as possible, because you don't want the rhinos having to go after you. Wow, the best class is still there. Okay, that's kind of cute. There are also these monkeys that run around, as you can see, but they run away from you if you try to get close to them. So basically, it's not really worth going after them, unless they, like, manage to get stuck in a weird area. Like, one of them can get stuck in such a weird way right over here, as you can see. As you can see there. It's kind of interesting. You can just, like, easily crush the monkey. As you can tell, there's the cutscene. It's like introduced to the rhinos. Get this monkey, and there you go. We crushed him. We made him a part of our junk ball. In case you couldn't tell, that's very dark, but that's all fine with us, I guess. Remember, this game's rated E10 for ages 10 up. Oh, for some reason, the Rhino's still trying to come after me, even though I'm not on his junk man anymore. As you can tell, the jeeps count as two, so you want to crush those a lot. And now we gotta get in between these two jeeps. Or in between the jeeps and well. Ah, I didn't get it. Oh well. That's fine. Uh, nope. Gotta go back. Easy speed. Ah, that sucks. It's hard to get in between the jeep and the wall, but. It is definitely possible. I did it in my world record run, and it's been such a long while, so... Alright, now, that doesn't matter a whole lot. Now we just kind of head this way. And now we do this matching game. And then got the 
Cool. I believe we have one more round after this one, so... That's one more round now. Oh wait, never mind. That was the last round. Ah, okay, cool. We're almost done, guys. Not quite ready on time yet, but we are getting close to there. Oh, and by the way, this is the only unskippable in-game cutscene. It's stupid that it's unskippable, but you can't skip it. Oh well. Alright, now I kind of have a strike here, so I just kind of smash their log pile, then I do this. Basically, you gotta try to smash the houses as fast as you can. And then one more, boom, that's it, yes! Alright, now we have another Marty kicking minigame. We just gotta try to kick these balloons that have durians on them, they're like coming towards us. And then when we get a durian to kick, we kick it towards the house there and we try to hit the house. As you see, there are bonus balloons, but they're not necessary. Don't know whether or not that hit, but cool. Oh, I don't know whether or not that hit. That did. Oh well. It's hard to hit the house when you have to react to it. I just need to get three of them. Okay. Now I get it. Oh shoot. Oh well. Again, it's really hard to react. Whenever you get it randomly. Sometimes you'll notice me just trying to kick away soccer balls because I'm trying to like get a Dorian, but sometimes it just won't give it to me. Don't know where I hit the house there. I did. Yay, good job. Alright. Okay, so now I'll say get ready on time, but it's still gonna be a little while away. It's still not quite right there. So they automatically repair one part of the dam that we busted up, unfortunately. So yeah. Come on, Gloria, hurry up. Now Nana's here as well, so now we're also gonna get like 
having to dodge these stupid dirty launcher things. Now I come back and bust the damage first, but bust the uh, launcher again. Okay, okay. Get ready on time. Time. Alright, well, that was Madagascar 2. So yeah. Pretty much that last level was on was almost on point with the story, how like uh Alex has like how busted the dam. And how the water dries up because of the dam and the watering hole. So yeah. I hope that they got the fact that it was time. Do we? I'm gonna have to also call off the uh, donation incentive by now. So do we make that donation incentive, or like stop the donation incentive now? I should say not call it off per se, but. If we made the duration incentive, I can do it for a few minutes. So yeah, somebody would like to get with me on that. So yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Like, uh, no, the was not met. That's fine. I figured it wouldn't get met because it was really early in the day.